I'm Ashley, and I normally travel with my husband, Christian. But in February of 2020, I headed to Patagonia with my dad. I fell in love with the glaciers, food, and wild landscapes. With the news of Argentina reopening for tourism, I decided now was finally the perfect time to post my travels from a place known as the end of the earth. Today we're driving to El Shaltan, which is another beautiful mountain town, which a lot of the most popular hikes lead out of, like the Fitzroy hike. But before we leave town, we're gonna go into this museum back here. And it's a glacier museum, very fitting. Another beautiful day in Patagonia. We are done with the museum. I really liked it. I would recommend it if you're coming to El Calafate. We are officially en route to El Shaltan, and it should be a really beautiful drive uh, coming into that area. about 25 minutes out of El Calafate. There's this beautiful view of like this whole range right here. El Shaltan, but uh, the wind also came with us. You can see Fitzroy, which is beautiful. made it to El Shaltan and we found our little mountain cabin for the week and it is adorable but we found it and we don't have any internet service here so that was really hard. This is the kitchen it's a full kitchen and this way in here is the I think master bedroom double bed we got full towels everything this is our bathroom this is a pretty cute little authentic mountain house we have here it has all the wooden beams in the ceiling which i love it actually has wi-fi and everything like that the wi-fi is important because here you really don't have any cell phone connectivity so to like map out hikes and do stuff like that this is such a beautiful secluded city the population is only 1100 and it was 300 in 2003 because it was founded in 1985 so it's a really new city still for dinner tonight, we're trying something a little bit different. Burgers, sandwiches. To start with, we got sweet potatoes covered in mustard, honey, and parmesan. Me and my dad got two burgers to split. One is the beet burger, which is just the beet patty. And then the other one is a normal meat patty with avocado, onion, and tomato. full day in El Shaltan. We got up at like 5.30 to catch this mountain light up for the day. We got some amazing shots and experience something that really doesn't happen a lot here just because of cloud cover and precipitation and everything. We were 
at the only gas station in town, which is at the very front entrance of the town, and it's just a little tiny building on the side of the road, and you just pull up and somebody fills up your gas for you. It's been about four hours since we uh, went and saw the mountain this morning and we're taking the highway that goes north through the city out of the city it's just it's just like a gravel road like this is not any kind of an established road really and the views are beautiful and it's a rental car driving all the way up the road and then we get to the Lago del Desierto at the end and this is the lake that basically connects Argentina and Chile and so going across this we will basically be on Chile's border so you can actually take a hike from here that takes you into Chile. This lake is wrapped in glaciers. There's glaciers all over. already awesome just being in the heart of Patagonia but then the boat driver keeps backing the boat up into all these different waterfalls within like a foot of the shore so we're like face to face with all of these waterfalls along the shoreline. So in El Chaltan, most of the restaurants are like burgers and beer spots. The whole entire inside looks like a little mountain hut. It's all wooden, super cute. For dinner, we got some fajitas, some chicken, beef, guacamole, and a cream sauce fajita, and then a trout pasta dish. And they brought out some bread with some pink sauce as an appetizer. I'm gonna try it. It smells like beets. Put it on the bread. Mmm. I appreciate their love of beets because I love beets so much. It's like a trout tortellini, and it has a butter sauce that looks amazing. Mm. I made my fajita, I just put a little bit, like I just spoonfold a couple on of everything and then put the sauces on. It smells so good, oh my god. Mm. I haven't had a bad meal though.